Hey guys, um, so I just wanted to come on here and do a chit chat, get ready with me. Um, before I head out for the day, um, I'm actually currently house sitting for my aunt and uncle up in Jericho. Um, they're on their little trip vacation to Agunquit, Maine. Um, so yeah, I'm here house sitting with their two doggies and their cat. Um, so far, so, so good. I'm having a good time. Um, last night was a little rough. Um, I actually ended up having a, um, anxiety attack last night. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to come on here and talk about that a little bit. Uh, I'm just going to prep my face, um, uh, just wash off, um, any dirt and oil that I have on here. Um, I usually don't use these wipes. I don't really like how bad they are for the environment. Um, but I actually got this pack from my great aunt, um, from her senior living apartment um when she left and went to the nursing home um so i just figured i would just scrub off any dirt and oil on here um so i just wanted to talk about like what's been going on um so um a lot of you who know me personally know that i'm missing teeth i can show you i'm very self-conscious about it um, to the point to where, like, if I'm laughing, I'll actually, like, hide my mouth. Like, I'll shut my mouth and, like, stop laughing because I'm embarrassed. Um, so I am kind of on this little trip right now to fixing my teeth. Um, I made this decision, um, at the beginning or at the end of winter this last year, um, uh, just before the pandemic. And... Um, went and got an evaluation done. Um, I had an evaluation done a couple of years ago and they quoted me. That was to see if we, you know, to save what I could save. Um, and they quoted me like $5,700. I think it was, it was a lot of money. Um, and then which, you know, it, that's not nearly as bad as what I am having to pay. Um, but the thing that frustrated me about that was there's no guarantee that I'm not going to have tooth pain anymore. You know, like I've, I've dealt with so much tooth pain in my life that I'm just done. Like I'm, I'm literally just, I've had it like tooth pain to me. It's just like the worst feeling ever. I mean, anybody who knows who's had issues with their teeth before, like it's just excruciating. And I have it so often that, I mean, I'm just, I mean, even when I eat stuff, like I'm so scared to eat certain things because I'm afraid that something's going to break. Um, and just a little backstory as to why my teeth are the way that they are. Um, besides genetics, um, because my mom's side of the family has really bad teeth. They have really soft teeth. They've dealt with teeth, their teeth for a really long time. Um, but not only that, so um, when I was in middle school and high school, I actually, um, um, I used to get like really bad migraines and uh, like to the point to where like I had to like be in bed and um, with like the lights off and a washcloth over my uh, forehead and I had to take some Advil like it was really bad like to the point to where like it was making me sick to my stomach um and I used to get them at least God, at least once a week um uh, which anyone who deals with migraines knows like that's it's just not it's not a good time um but we never like really looked into like why they were happening um, because my mom always got migraines too. Um, so we just figured it was like some sort of genetic thing. And um, when I was out of high school on my own, I had a job that I had dental insurance through um, and I decided to get my mouth looked at because I could tell that like um, I had wisdom teeth that were coming in and 
So I wanted to get them looked at because they were offering, you know, quite a bit of pain. And also, I also had um, like some weird jaw issues. Um, I was never actually diagnosed with TMJ, but I could literally make my pop, my jaw pop in and out. So I'm assuming I had TMJ. It was just undiagnosed. Um, and so between those issues and my migraines and the feeling of my wisdom teeth coming in, I decided to get things checked out um, just to see what was going on. And sure enough, I had three wisdom teeth coming in and they were coming in so crooked that they were putting tons of pressure on like all of my teeth. And so they were coming in at an angle instead of coming up and out they were you know going to the side and pressing on all my teeth and they were putting so much pressure on my teeth like my regular teeth that um, it was causing fractures in the teeth and so when I had my wisdom teeth pulled um, I had my three wisdom teeth pulled um, they told me that uh, they were going to have to take two of my regular teeth in the back up on top as well because there was so much damage to them that the minute they even went in there to take out my wisdom teeth, those teeth were just going to fall apart. So um, they took the two upper and the way back as well as my three wisdom teeth. So I had five teeth extracted at once. Um, so... After that, after recuperating from that, um, I started having a lot of, um, because the pressure was really released off my teeth, um, things started spacing out, um, things had more room to breathe, so they started, you know, the pressure was released, and they ended up, um, the cracked spots ended up um, falling out, like the, the like the pieces of tooth that were cracked started falling out. Um, and then I also, at that time, um, after I had my wisdom teeth removed, um, had switched jobs and did not have dental insurance anymore. Um, so I had no way of fixing what was breaking. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, I dealt with the pain I dealt I didn't have any choice um I had to deal with it and so uh, for years I've been having the same issue I've been dealing with it for so long and um I ended up as a lot of you know now I work at the hospital and now I have dental insurance um and I've had it for five years now um and, you know, I probably should have done this a lot sooner, but I have like a really bad fear of dentists. And, you know, obviously I know a lot of people don't like going to the dentist. I get that. Mine is like, is it mine? I, not to discredit anybody else's fears, but mine is different. Um, I literally, I mean, I don't like, it's not just dentists. I don't like doctor's office. I don't like um, dentists. I don't like doctors. I don't like hospitals. I've never actually broken anything or needed. I mean, I can't say that. Um, I have needed to go to the hospital once, um, to get stitches because, um, I ended up, um, almost severing my middle finger, um, off of my, um, right at the knuckle and uh, luckily it didn't happen <laughs> um, because it was right at the knuckle. So everything just kind of expanded and then went back together. But um, it's a, another story for another day. Um, so I don't like doctors. I don't like dentists. Not that I have anything against them themselves. It's just, I don't 
it just scares me. Like, it, it's just, I don't know what it is. It's just a, it's just a really bad fear. Um, and I can't get over it. Like, it's, it's probably going to stick with me for the rest of my life, which is sucky because, you know, the, the older you get, the more problems you start having. <laughs> um, but anyways, so anyway, uh, long story short, <laughs> um, so I now am at the point where I had an evaluation to see what I could do to save everything. It was going to be $5,700, which is a lot of money, um, for not a lot of, um, reassurance, I guess. Um, so what I have decided to do is to go with dentures. Um, I'm not pleased that I'm having to go this route, but it is going to give me a sense of relief um, just because I'm not going to have to worry so much um, about impending dental pain. Um, like I said, I've dealt with enough in my life, so um, I'm excited about that. But yesterday I went to... Uh, mind you, this is costing me like $8,000. <laughs> Thank God for family. Um, cause I do not have $8,000 saved up. Um, but anyways, I, um, yesterday I went for an appointment, um, to have the impressions done. Um, <laughs> this appointment was actually supposed to have been done back in April. Um, but as you know, we've been dealing with a pandemic. So that got postponed and, um, I am, I went yesterday to have, um, the impressions done. That was, a, let me tell you what happened there. It's kind of a funny story. Um, it wasn't at the time, but it's funny now. Um, so I have really bad gag reflexes. And so anybody who's had impressions done just know that they put like this metal mouth tray, like tooth tray in your mouth with a bunch of like this plaster stuff. And um, so she puts it, she does the uppers first. And so she puts it in there and she's, you know, she tells me what she's going to do. And then she puts it in there and it starts seeping out the back because obviously it's so full. And so it starts seeping out the back and it just... It triggered my gag reflexes and I literally almost threw up on myself. It was so gross. And it was to the point to where like, you know, obviously I didn't want to throw up. So I'm like, try not to throw up. And I'm literally like drooling um, while I'm trying to breathe through my nose. It was so gross. I do, I, and then she like, she walks away. So like she does the bottom set and then everything. And she walks away and she's like, okay, I gotta go get these looked at to make sure everything's okay. That we don't have to do it again. And I'm like, Again, like, I don't want you to do it again. Um, luckily, um, she didn't have to. Um, they were good, but she did have to do another thing where they basically take like this um, caulking gun. I don't know if you guys know what a caulking gun is, but uh, it's like a little gun that like pushes um, this um, caulking compound into like fill cracks to like stop moisture and stuff like that. Um, but they, it was like that. Um, obviously it wasn't caulking cause that's disgusting, <laughs> but she needed to like check the bite to make sure like when I close my mouth, when I put my teeth together, like how they sit. And so I had to do that. Um, mind you, none of this tasted good at all. She even put flavoring. She put like some sort of like strawberry flavoring. I didn't taste strawberry. It just tasted gross. Um, and so she did that and everything that all got done. And then she, she's like, okay, I got to go check to make sure that we don't have anything, like nothing else needs to be done before, um, you leave. So then she comes back and she says, you're all, you're good to go. Um, one of the girls are going to come up to get you for scheduling for your procedure. And I'm like, okay. So I get up there. Everything's okay. Um, I have to, so my procedure is not going to be so, till September, um, I was hoping it was going to be August, but, um, I've had an issue come up at work. Uh, my coworker's mother-in-law passed away. So, 
Um, she is having to go down to Florida for that, which obviously we all know Florida is like one of the biggest spots for Corona. Um, and so she's going to have to quarantine and everything when she comes back. So basically the whole month of August is just shop. I have to work every single moment. <laughs> um, but it's okay. I mean, I'll get through it. So, um, but September's going to be when it's going to be, um, scheduled for I can't schedule an actual date because they have a guy that he's basically like a traveling orthodontist um and he is not going to be around um well he's going to be around but they don't until like the third week of August so um I have to wait <laughs> to get that scheduled but last night it just um I just I had such a bad anxiety attack like because I have such a bad irrational fear of dentists um it's just it's just it's starting to finally hit me about what's going to happen um so basically i do get to keep some of my teeth um they're taking the whole upper all of the upper teeth are going they're just gone every single one of them is like it, they're so bad um and then i get to keep six on the bottom and they have to do a filling in one of them um other than that they're taking everything um it's it's pretty scary I gotta tell you and like one of the things that like one of the reasons um that it's been scaring me is because um it's kind of like a weird analogy my mom was kind of confused when I said it last night but like it's literally like having a broken toe and deciding to chop off your leg because if you've got a broken toe that just keeps breaking and I'm literally making the choice to have all of my teeth removed and just put fakes in and it's it's definitely a scary, a scary choice. Um, and I'm definitely super nervous about it. Um, and you know, everybody keeps telling me, Oh, you're strong. You're strong. You'll get through this. And, and which, I mean, I will, it's just, it's just hard. Um, so last night was rough. Um, shout out to Sarah and Allie and Ashley and my mom for helping me get through it. Um, but I did, um, a couple of Ativan and some moral support. <laughs> um, I did get through it, but, um, uh, I just wanted to talk about that just because like, um, it's, it's weighing heavy on my shoulders right now. So, um, but let's get back to makeup. <laughs> um, so one thing that I wanted to talk to you about, so I got a couple of new products. <sighs> I always do. Um, so the first one that I'm going to show that I'm going to try and talk to you about um is the Too Faced Born This Way Pressed Foundation Powder. Um I have one of um the one of the YouTubers that I follow um uses this as a setting powder. Um cuz I do like the translucent under my eyes to set my um my contour, my concealer. Um but I just wanted something to set the rest of my face and to just kind of even out complexion and just give me a little bit more coverage. So I figured I would buy this. Um, she loves it. So I was like, whatever, I'll try it. Um, I got the color Taffy. I don't know if this is the right color for me. Um, it's really hard for me right now just because um, my shade is, this is my summer shade. Um, and so it's really hard for me to match. Um, but anyways, so I'm going to try this out. So we're just going to, we're going to just dust this all over. On the spots that we didn't put the uh, setting powder, we're just gonna. I'm just gonna do this right here because actually this isn't a bad color. It's pretty close to the foundation shade, so it's not bad. I just wanted to talk to you about that one product. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do my contour. Um, and then I have a new blush that I wanna talk to you about. Oops, dipping my contour brush into my blush. Wonderful, I always do that. All right, we'll just make sure we only use this side. <laughs> Cause I didn't bring another brush. You just want to carve out the cheekbone. This is no 
no contour. This is contour. So you just want to carve out underneath the cheekbone where there's a little bit of shadow. And then we're also going to do some up here on the hairline. This just gives the look of a smaller forehead. <laughs> I have a big one. And then I'm not going to contour my nose just because I just messed up my brush. Because I actually use both sides. But I'm going to do a little underneath here just to darken this a little. Add a little extra dimension dimension because I do have a I do have a um a double chin. <laughs> so I don't have a lot of errands to do today. I am just going to, I have to run to Torrid um, to return. I got a romper. <laughs> I'm so mad I did this. The romper was so cute, like a sleep romper. And it was so freaking cute and I was so excited to get it. Um, but as it turns out, my stupid butt ended up purchasing a 6X. Yes, I am not a 6X, I am a 2X. <laughs> a little too big. <laughs> So I have to go return that and then I am going to run to my parents' house just because I have like three things that are getting delivered today and one got delivered yesterday. Um, I don't think there's, any, there's no makeup. Um, but there is a, um, I'm super excited about this one thing that I'm getting. So I actually designed a um, tattoo. I, have, I don't have any tattoos right now. Um, and I actually designed one that I want to get on my inner wrist. Um, uh, a lot of you know that the hibiscus flower is my favorite flower. Um, and I want to get it in a blue color. Um, which, funny enough, blue hibiscuses are a sign of fertility. <laughs> a lot of you know, know that I'm, like, dying to have a baby. Um, and so it just seems very, very fitting. Um, and then it also on the other side has um, two monstera leaves, which are a sign of my grandma. Um, it's kind of like a, it's kind of a, a, like it's a new adaption to my grandma. Um, just because my grandma, I, there, there's never been any like um, actual meaning to it towards my grandma. But when I, when my grandma passed, um, we went to a florist to get flowers and I saw this monstera plant and it just reminded me so much of like Hawaii and um, tropical climate. And my grandma, when I was really little, took a trip to Hawaii with my aunt and my cousin Christina. And um, ever since then, I've been absolutely in love with Hawaii. Um, obviously my favorite flower is the hibiscus flower. Um, and um, so I wanted to add those for her. I got a monstera plant for her funeral to, to put at her wake and the funeral and stuff. Um, right now it's at my aunt's house because it didn't like my bedroom. <laughs> but my aunt is nursing it back to health, which is awesome. Um, and also on the tattoo, it also has my future daughter's name, um, which I don't know if I've told you guys before. Um, I think I have because I wear her name on me a lot. Um, I have it on my keychain. Um, I have a necklace that says it right here. It says Melia. Um, and then I also have a purse that says that's made by the company Melia, which is funny. It's I guess it's based out of um, Louisiana. And so I also have her name on it. Um, but the company that I ordered this from, it's it's so it's basically it's a fake tattoo. Um, and they take the design that you want, like you upload a design and they turn it into a fake tattoo for you. And so that's coming today. So, and I got it in the size that I'm looking for. And so this so that I can test it out. So I'm gonna put it right here on my wrist. Um, and I will actually show you, I'll do like a little thing on my Instagram with it um, and show you guys how it came out and what it looks like. It's not gonna be in color. Um, I could have done it in color, but I'm not 100% set 
on the colors right now. I just kind of wanted to see what it would look like in black and white. Um, so yeah, I have to go pick that up. Um, but another uh, makeup product that I wanted to talk to you about, um, I got some stuff from Il Maquillage. Um, that's also the foundation that I use, um, but I got some other stuff from them. Um, I got one of their mineral baked blushes in the shade Big Spender. So I got that. So I wanted to talk to you about that. And then I also got a brow tint gel. Um, so I wanted to, I'll, I'll try that out today too. Um, I just wanted to try out this blush and see how it goes. I'm worried that it's not going to do too, too much just because it is kind of a light color. Um, being that I am very tan right now, I don't think it's going to show up too, too much, but it might just be perfect because I'm not, I don't like a whole lot of blush, but I definitely like a little bit of, I usually go for like the lighter pink, lighter pinky coral colors. So it's actually not bad. Go back a little so y'all can see. It's not bad. You can't really see because of the lighting. <sighs> but it's not, I like it. It feels really nice on too. It's like it's really soft. And there's not a lot of um um kickback or fallout. Um a lot of times when you put your brush into something, there's a lot of product fallout. Um and there wasn't with that, which is really nice. Um, next product I'm going to do is, if I can find out where I put it, my highlight. I use the Pure Highlight. Um, I got it out of a, I got this obviously from Ulta, but I got a tester from a co-worker out of her Ipsy box. And, um, I absolutely fell in love with it. It's not, I mean, it's like definitely certain angles. You can see it's it's definitely giving me some highlight, um, but in regular lighting, it's not as super super shiny as a lot of highlights are. I just do it on my forehead and the tops of my cheekbones. I do I like to do it on my nose. I don't know why. I think it just makes my nose a little bit more prominent, which and I love my nose. I don't know what it is, but I absolutely love my nose. I don't know. It's just round and cute and I got it from the grandma. Not the same grandma, different grandma, my dad's mom. <laughs> I actually got a lot of my looks from my dad's side of the family, which I'm thankful for. So as much as I love my mom's side of the family, my dad's side is cuter. <laughs> anyway. And then I just do my brow bone too. Um, so, one thing, I'll just take a sip of my cranberry juice. Does anybody else out there love cranberry juice? Like, I drink it with vodka too, which is like my drink of choice, but like, I can just drink straight up cranberry juice. <laughs> I love it. Um, so I want to use my ColourPop palettes that I just got because I haven't used them yet. Um, I got the Baby Got Peach palette. The colors are really pretty. And then I also got the Blue Moon palette. Blue Moon palette. This bottom color here is like my favorite color, but this color up here is actually the one that I'm gonna use because it looks better. The other one is kind of, whew, that's bright. And I think that's why I'm like holding off on the color of my hibiscus because like I said, this color on the bottom is my favorite color, but it's super, super bright. And I think I wanna go with a more muted blue for my, my tattoo, so we'll see. Um, so the colors that I'm going to be using, um, are that muted blue, which is called Dabba D, which is a dumb name. Um, <laughs> and then I think I'm going to use, um, 
get even and centerfold as well. Um, I'm just not sure where I'm gonna put these colors, so um, just give me a second. I need to figure out which which brushes brushes I'm using here. I think I'm gonna use these ones. All right, so we're going to prime. Our lid this just helps the color to stay longer and to stick better to use where'd it go I'm gonna use my concealer brush just to blend it out concealer brush is just gonna add a little extra concealer to the lid just to give me a little better of a base I'm gonna have to do my highlight over again <laughs> Which is fine. This is just gonna give me a better base for my eyeshadow. And then we're just gonna blend it so that there's no hard lines. All right, so I think the first color I'm going to use is going to be the Daba D, and I'm going to do that in the um, crease here. I don't know how this look is going to turn out just because these are like my two favorite colors together. I absolutely love a beautiful blue and a peach together. Um, I just don't know how it's going to look as eyeshadow. Oh, this is beautiful. This camera does not do this justice, but this is, whew, you wait till you see the final look. This blue is beautiful. Oh, it's a little bit off the This color is amazing. Oh, it's beautiful. Freaking beautiful. Okay. Um, so I am going to do this pen. See if I can get some of this on. I am going to do this centerfold color on my outer corners here. Oh, so freaking pretty. <laughs> I'm gonna try to get into the middle too.
Can you, what do you think? Can you see it? Oh, so pretty. Um, and then the last color I'm gonna do is this Get Even right here. It's like a shimmery peach. Oh, I love a good shimmery peach. It's just so pretty. I think what I'm gonna do is, so this is looking really good. I think what I'm gonna do is do more of the blue um, and just kind of blend the blue a little into the corner just to give me a little darkness to my outer corner because the peach doesn't really add a whole lot of darkness to it. Looks good. I like it. I like it a lot. It's kind of a really pretty look. I do like it. Um, maybe just a little more of this peach color, this corally peach color to the middle. The inner corners, I'm sorry. You learn my ter terminology. There. Better. Okay. So the eyeshadow look is done. So the next thing I'm gonna do is my brows. I don't I don't think I'm gonna actually like draw on my brows today. I think I just wanna use this. Um, this is my other new product that I got. It's the Il Maquillage um, Fill and Fix Brow Shaper in the color Hypnotize. This is like their brown, the, the darkest brown before black. So I've been wanting to try a brow tint shaper for a while now. Um, just because I'm starting to get gray in my brows. I don't like that. So I wanted something with a little bit of color to add to them so that the grays aren't so noticeable. <laughs> good. I don't mind it. I don't think I want to do lashes. 
I'm just going to do some um, mascara and some setting spray. Just get this setting powder off my face. Oh, one thing I do need to redo. I'll almost let me forget. I gotta redo my um, highlight on my brow bones. Mascara and then lips and then we're done. I like it. I love it a lot. Like, I've been trying to do, like, funkier eyeshadow looks lately, which is why I bought these palettes. I'm getting there. I've been getting, um, ideas from Pinterest. Um, there's lots and lots and lots of ideas on there for different eyeshadow looks. Um... And I love them for that. Like, Pinterest is literally, if you want ideas for anything, I swear to God, Pinterest is like the way to go. But, all right, I am going to pause you for one second, go get my lipstick, and then I will show you my completed look, okay? All right, I'm back. Um, so this, you guys, I've talked about this lipstick for quite a while now. Um, it's the Beauty Bakery, let me say it right this time, the Bastani Ice. Uh, I don't know why I always say Bastani or Basanti. <laughs> it's so weird. Um, I use this a lot. Um, it's just a little tiny thing, um, which is really weird. Um, I really hope that they have a full size because I've been using this a lot lately and it has become my go-to color. I love it. So I'm just going to finish my makeup with this. All right, babes, this is it. This is my makeup look for today. <laughs> so now it's time to fix my hairs and then I am ready to go. All right, talk to you later, bye.